Hey guys, it's Brandy. It's been a while, but I just wanted to hop on and do a project share and then um, also a small Timu haul. Um, I have purchased other stuff since last time I shared, but I haven't saved it. I've just put it away. I've got all my stuff put away pretty much, except for what I'm about to show you. I have more coming. I don't think there's any crafty stuff, but I did get my husband a U, like a UV um, shirt that's supposed to be really good for outside, like long sleeve, keep you cool and stuff like that, but you also keep the sun off you. Um, he has some um, that is, uh, where did he get it, from Amazon I think or something like that. And they're pretty good, so we try, we're going to try the Timu ones. I absolutely love their shirts. Um, sizing depends on what you order. You just got to pay attention to like the links and stuff like that. Um, but I have loved everything that I have gotten, and I am looking forward to ordering more stuff. So for my itty-bitty haul that I have to share, um, I wanted to share this uh thank you let me see if i got a piece of paper thank you stamp set with sentiments sorry if there's a glare it's from the packaging even if i take it out of the packaging it's still gonna have a glare so but yeah it says thank you from me so much for listening for being you for and it says, from the bottom of my heart, from all of us, for a great season, for a great year, all your help, being there, from our family, for your hard work, for the perfect gift, for thinking of me. So, super cute. I've been wanting some stamps that have the big uh, font and then also the little sentiment strips because I have a ton of strips that I need to use up uh, from when I cut my cards. Um, I have a bunch of these like little strips left and so I like to use those for that so I'm excited about that so I got that and then I got some wax um, it comes with 10 different colors for wax seals I still have yet to make a wax seal but I've been collecting stuff for it so I think I pretty much I think I have everything I need so I should be able to do it here soon. And then I got G for my last name. So that's, oh wait, nope, I got one small other thing. One itty bitty thing. I got this die right here. It's like a little Polaroid photo hanging thing. That'd be really cute to put like little embellishments or something like that in it, like a little flower or a little butterfly or something like that so I thought that was cute so I got that so that was my Timu haul um, I have a whole tote up here of dies and stamps that I want to use that I have yet to use so I didn't want to put them away until I've used them um, so I'm going to share those so this one is a Timu die this one is Halloween. It says Happy Halloween on the top. And then it has a spider and like a castle, like a creepy house. And it's all one die. And you could put like a alcohol inked background. You can do an inked background. You can just do a plain color background. Kind of like that. And it cut out beautifully. But yeah, and it says Happy Halloween at the top. So I thought that was cute. So perfect for Halloween cards. I've cut it out three different times. So I got that one. And then let's see. And then this one is also a Timu die. It is a uh, Flower Hills. So when it comes with all the flowers so you can um, replace them on here. And this is what uh -oh. they're stuck together. 
yeah, that's what they create. And then I thought about these solid ones here. I'd put like a gem in the middle or a dot of stickles or uh, something like that. Some type of little dot. So yeah, there's that one. And then here's the little hill. So little, oops, big. So super cute. It'd be cute for like a background or a 3D card, pop-up card, all that stuff. Or even on the bottom of like a scrapbook page, all that stuff. Um, so I made a bunch of those. Like a ton. So that was fun. Worked on that today. And then I did the KS Craft cutting machine shaker. I didn't make them into shakers. But here's what it is. And it also makes it like a memory dex. So it does have the memory dex thing. So I did the crafty friends a few times. Crafty friend. Don't forget your die, dot for your eye. So I did that a few times. And then I created the machines. Now you can make these into shakers. I did not. So I thought those were cute just as flat embellishments. This next one I had a lot of fun with. It is a KS Craft Heart Border Film Strip. Right here. So and then it has these and these that you could put like on here. And this overlaps this because it took me a little bit to figure out. But this overlaps this so it creates um, like more dimension. So this is what I mean. So I cut it out in blue. And then the black is that part right there. So I did several of those. Here's this one. We yeah, had different colors. So, I did several of those. Those are super cute. And then when you cut the stuff out, you have a bunch of stuff left over. So you have like the hearts that it cuts out. And then um, I cut way too many of the just squares. So I made cards with the leftovers. And this is what I came up with. So it cut these, I cut these out way too many times, so I just used these on my cards. This is the center of these right here, and the center of the um, strip itself. So there's one, there's one, and this is all basically using scraps or like a pad of paper that I've had in my staff stash for a while. So I'm trying to cut up some of the paper that I have in my stash instead of going out and buying more, even though I like to do that still. But I'm trying to use a lot more of what I have than going out and buying more. But yeah, you can do different um, layouts. you just using hearts. That's all it is, is hearts. So make a lot of different cards with that. So that's with that die. And then last but not least, I use the KS Craft Bath Shaker die. So that's the die. And then here is the bathtub. I made them into shakers. And then all around it I put stickles. And then for the, the knobs, I put uh, liquid pearls to make them like silver. So there's that one, this one, this one, and then there's this one, and that one. And then um, one of these, this one, I cut out the extra bubbles and I put them on the bath water there. So, because uh... I don't know if you can see it or not, 
but these are like the bubbles right here. So it has all the little pieces, and then right here it's got like the claw feet, and then um, the faucet. So I cut all those out. So, um, and then hopefully here, actually I'll share it now. I have this project that I'm making, and it's for somebody, but, um, I'm gonna try, I got these albums at a garage sale, and I redid the front of them, and the back, because it had this weird, this was the cover, and it's just an old album that was from Big Lots, so I recovered it, and then I'm putting embellishments in it. that I have made for someone and I'm going to be giving that to them so just stuff like that so and then I got this right here and I might decorate the front or something of it I'm not sure yet but yeah I just created that for a friend so yeah hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty time sorry I haven't been on as much um, we've been really, really busy. I think things are going to start slowing down because my daughter is done with ball. So, um, she, um, plays lob ball. She's only seven. So they had the championship game last night. Her team wasn't in it, but she got, we got, went there and watched it and she was excited. She said she, it felt like a vacation because she didn't have to play. So, <laughs> and she's seven. But, uh, yeah. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful crafty time. Bye, guys.